up in a drop, huh? And I got it straight drop, 30 on my Glock, huh? It'll blow your face off, sign me twins. Yes, we did. Do door slam already. Shift spreadsheet. Okay, I'm exposed about this, by the way. Because I, I know what actually happened. Before he began to gain viewership, Marky next door was very concerned with making sure he didn't stream while others were alive. Though this makes sense, Marky took things one step further and actually created a spreadsheet in an attempt to create a schedule for the rest of the community and their time slots to make matters worse. He Dude, didn't look at how different things are now. This is when I used to stream at 6 a.m. Batiz, are you in the stream? Marky's face in this photo is fucking insane. So, Prime C this was not Prime CHX. I mean, this was new to just chatting CHX, but this was not Prime CHX. Prime CHX, honestly, is probably now since, I don't know, the last few months. He wanted everyone to go by this. No, so what, <laughs> what happened was me, Razo, and Camilo were in Discord. This is, bro, this is like two years ago, a year and a half ago. And Razo comes up with the genius idea to make this and tweet it out. And, bro, it was fucking hilarious. This is where the shift sniping shit started. He, <laughs> dude. It's crazy, because, look, Ovio's here, Jake, Camilo, Bob, Razo, Los... And like, man, think of how different things are now. Like, we don't know, like, we don't see Los around here, like, associating with this community anymore. Ovio, you know, Jake, Bob don't stream, Camilo barely stream. Okay, I'm joking. Um, Razo just came back, and Chenzo was banned here. So, like, it's completely different. I wonder why. Oh, yeah, man, because he's blackballed, dude. That's that's why. Come on, are you guys dumb? Maybe you're the problem, dude. Hey, you can't call someone a problem who doesn't have any problems. 100. I think I was blackballed around this time. Los is the face of the community. Shut the fuck up. Okay, if you would have said this two years ago, yes. But now, this community don't even, like associate with Los much. It's not because anyone dislikes him or anything. It's just he's literally way bigger than this community. He... I feel like Los really isn't associated with us anymore. Like, it's its own different thing now. The person who was actually blackboard me is a joke. And I get made fun of for it. Okay, be honest, chat. Do you guys genuinely... Like, I'm no trolling shit. Like, I'm being dead ass serious right now. Do you actually feel like people are blackboard? Because I don't know if people are trolling with it. Ovio, like, I was watching Ovio's stream the other day and he literally says he's not blackboard. Dude, that's a lot of fucking yeses. Okay, uh, bro, Alonso is not blackboard. Like, what is, what is that? Landon is blackboard. Okay, so what what makes you think someone like Alonso is blackboard? Like, as far as I know, me personally, I've never had a problem with Alonso. I don't see anyone that has a problem with Alonso. Like, is it because he's just not on streams? Dude, I, I love Alonso. Like, I fuck with him, dude. He'd be in my chat, like, a lot. Sides were taken and people don't watch Alonso, Ovio, etc. because of it. I don't know, some people just don't come in court. Literally. Ovio told y'all he was talking shit and y'all ran with it. Dude, Terrence, when have you ever seen me have a problem with him? Literally. I still watch Ovio. Dude, it don't matter... 
what streamers do or don't get along, people are gonna watch whoever the fuck they want. And no, that's not me saying that there's people that don't get along. It's just true. It's not gonna change the viewers at all. You be in OVO streams, I see you there. Literally, yes. Two-way Loki Black will do. Two-way... I fucking love Two-way. Two-way just don't stream. He be grinding, you know? He didn't even give himself a slot. He just said he will stream whenever someone misses a day. How <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> The Subathon curse has been very apparent in this community, with most streamers getting a temporary or even indefinite ban at some point during their Subathons. Wait, Kobe got banned this Subathon too, huh? That's crazy. He actually gets banned every Subathon. This is streamers such as Kobe0802 and Flex with them getting temporary bans and being able to resume their Subathons. But the most notable instance of a ban ruining a Subathon is Chenzo's in 2021. After he was banned during his Subathon, he was not freed until one year later. If you're a streamer in this community and are considering doing a Subathon, make sure to protect yourself from the brain dead Twitch staff. The, snipe. the infamous snipe took place in December of 2020 following Chanzo getting banned. In the minutes after his ban, Marky Nextdoor fired it up and began his stream. Many took exception to this, including Flax. People felt that he was taking advantage of Chanzo being banned and trying to get the viewers that were watching Chanzo to come to his stream. It was eventually determined that Marky had already Dude, this planned picture to go is horrible. live prior to Chanzo getting banned, but to this day some still hold that against him and think he was trying to clout chase. After okay. Chat, honest thoughts. Do you guys think Marky purposely fired up? Like, I'm, I'm genuinely curious here. Do you guys think, like, Marky actually fired up as soon as he saw Chenzo got banned? Or are you just trolling? Nah, people actually think he did. He reported. Okay, if you generally believe that he reported, that's insane. So then, let me let me explain something, right? If you guys all believe this, back when it happened and Flax got really mad at him, why were so many people hating on Flax for it? If everyone genuinely thinks that Marky actually actually did fire up, why why did everyone fucking get on Flax's ass? Because bro, he got sent death threats over this. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, Flax was too harsh. He was. Some of the shit he said was out of pocket, but he felt very strongly about it. I didn't get mad at- I'm not saying you, Chenzo, I'm saying the chat. No one hates Flax, it's just a love and racism relationship. Mods, hello? The fuck does that mean? Dude, Rick, some of the shit you be saying, bro. That's not a fake First Grizz. First trip was over. Blacks was flying home to the Bahamas and had a layover in New Jersey. Prior to the trip, he had discussed potentially meeting the Polo's Dude, family this while was, he was this in was New This was fucking hilarious. Look at her face, man. Like, it's actually insane. New Jersey as he wouldn't have anywhere else to go. Blacks had thought an agreement was in place for them to pick him up, but when he landed, they never <laughs> responded. Flax was forced to sleep in the airport until his next flight, and proceeded to tweet at Los and Jake regarding his frustrations. Though things eventually were settled, this remains one of the most funny moments in the history of the community. Before he sold his soul to Mark Zuckerberg, Marky used to work for the Los Angeles Dodgers doing security. Every day after work, he would either say he was too tired to stream or come on stream and have absolutely no energy. Oh my god, dude! He did used to do this, bro! And when Los would go live, you'd get a tweet like this. He'd be like, hey man, I'm feeling really tired today. 
this this is even after he'd be like, yo, I'm firing up tonight, or stream soon. Los would go live, and he'd literally tweet out, oh, something just came up, or I'm too tired, man. Um, I got you tomorrow, though. Uh, Marky began taking days off and streaming instead. Additionally, he even made a TikTok while at Dodger Stadium and on duty. One day, he was told that he was fired. I just want to give you a little bit of an update. Um, so I just got out of the Dodgers meeting that I told you about on stream yesterday, and um, I've got my papers here and stuff. Um, yeah. So essentially, I was let go. Um, I talked to them today, and um. Basically, someone sent in clips of me streaming when I was when I was scheduled to work, and either I asked for the day off or you know I just you know called off. Um, people were sending in the TikToks that I made um, at work, which yeah I shouldn't have made them. You know I did them for fun, but yeah realistically speaking I, I shouldn't have made them. Um, but yeah, like people were sending in stuff that I was doing off stream and. Uh, they basically told me that I was just drawing unwanted attention, so they went ahead and let me go. Um, this doesn't mean more streams, but um, yeah, we're gonna get a new job soon. Speculation began regarding- All jokes aside, like, I, I know we joke about this now and shit, and like yesterday I seen a lot of people saying stuff about this in Chenzo's chat, but like, whoever sent those, like, things, like, that's actually fucking insane. Someone deadass went out of their way to get Marky fired. Like, when you think about it, it's fucking crazy. He better thank whoever got him fired. They got him... One... Okay, bull, it's not that much. ...who had leaked this to his boss, with the most notable suspects being James Best and Ovo Sweat, since being fired. The only job he has had is the Blue App, despite almost becoming a full-time Snipe Squad technician. Soft Day Era... A lot of streamers are still in this, by the way. Not me, though. It goes without saying that Twitch has changed a lot over the last few years, but one of the most important things that has been affected is streamers having to be more careful with what they say while in stream. One streamer who reflects this change is none other than Chenzo, who has <laughs> had to eliminate a certain word from his vocabulary. I hope. In his early years, Mr. TSN would throw around the soft with no second thoughts about it. He would even justify it by claiming that the N-word was a Chinese word. I thought we went over that nigga is a Chinese word! I'm speaking- On a ball, my space dating show, 208 was talking Dylan with Dylan said he didn't want to go hard on anyone and exposed all my laundry. I mean, the video, like... <laughs> From, I mean, he went pretty hard on me, too, I'm not gonna lie. For what he has, he went pretty hard on me. But... I, like, I was actually cut yesterday, like, that shit pissed me off, until it came to Sweater's part, here, then I was like, okay, you know what, you can, you can make whatever least jokes you want, because, bro, this was a hundred times worse. The girl and was asked to take down the sheet behind him, knowing what was behind it. He was hesitant at first. Once he gave in and revealed what was behind it, any chances he had of pulling vanished. Yeah. So, two way, real quick. Somebody's been uh, asking for you to take down the sheet. I don't know what's behind the sheet. You don't have to. I'm just saying somebody is asking. <laughs> this, this, there's nothing. No, no. This, there's a wall. There's a wall. Okay. But anyways, yeah. So, huh? Do that. What? Just lift it up a little bit. Use, use a little bit. I, I, I just, I just take it down. I just take it down. You don't have to take it down. I just wanted to see it. Oh no. Okay. 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 Dude, Bob was, Bob was really hitting the, the numbers that no one was hitting, bro. Apart from, like, Chenzo, he was really, like, hitting numbers that other people just weren't hitting, bro. He was fucking popping. Bob left in his prime, like, why? I don't know, dude. I mean, it does kind of show you how much this community has grown, because Bob could pull like 500 like four five hundred and now there's like a bunch more of us that have the potential to pull those numbers but like back then no one was really hitting those numbers sweater didn't even stream marky was pulling like 
I, I don't know, but it wasn't that. It's crazy. And that, that shows you in itself how much this community's grown. When we needed him, most he vanished. There's nothing... Okay, okay, okay. First, this, yeah, this, 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 this is not my... This... Tripping. Eagles. They, Since bro, he could have went in on Eagles years too. ago, Eagles TTV had always been a controversial figure. Even though he hadn't necessarily done anything wrong, he was constantly being made fun of by the chat and streamers yes, I know alike. What is. This was not helped by his often odd behavior towards women, where he became quite obsessive. His Dude, tweets what is this fake Grizz Nation account? Like, the message that I just read by him was fucking insane. Who who the fuck went out of their way to make a Grizz account, bro? That's insane. Or is that actually him? If you're gonna do an iceberg, you gotta go hard on everyone. It's Ramel? Probably. About baby Aphrodite put him in hot water, which ended up being one of his final moments in the community. Oh yeah, dude, what was that? Eagles just went on a phase of just hating on, on, on Eagles. Cause it wasn't, dude, and he was fucking obsessed with, what's her name? Angie too. He was fucking obsessed with her. It, yeah, he literally went on his incel arc and he just fucking hated on E-Woman. Eagles vs. Bauer beef? Wait, Eagles vs. Bauer beef, huh? Yeah, hoo hoo okay or ha ha okay. I can't remember how you say it. Fucking OVO sweat. I can't, dude. Do you know what's crazy? I've had like a serious conversation. Back, it was after, I, I think it, they talk about this in, in here. Yeah, because his face reveal comes up. I think it was after this stream. I was in Discord with OVO sweat and OVO. And, like, actually spoke to OVO Sweat, like, off-stream, like, not trolling and stuff. And he just, like, he was a normal kid. Like, actually just a normal kid. And he said that he was just a huge OVO fan. And, like, when he actually got banned by the streamers he was watched, because he used to watch all of us and troll all of us, dude. And he said that when he got banned, like, he actually got sad because... <laughs> Another person you guys like using for content when I said he should have been banned right away, but no one ever listens. I mean, he would go too far. Yeah, of course he did. But, like, dude, he he was... I don't know, man. I don't even know how to explain it. I've never seen anyone like this dude. He docks people. Yeah, I mean, bro, after that, he literally got banned from everyone's chat. Except Marky, I think. Ovio Sweat is known as one of the most notorious threats to ever be part of the community. He was most known for ruining many IRL streams and getting whoever was streaming kicked out of places, as well as for simply being a very creepy troll in general. While his identity was up in the air for very long, one day in an OVO stream he did a face reveal and interview. Since then, he has had somewhat of a disappearance from the community. Fucking emo, dude. I'm telling you. 14-year-old white kid. Literally, that's all I have to say. Emo is a 14-year-old white kid. He has to be. Like, if, if emo is the over the age of 19 doing what he does, I, I generally have no words. I don't know why. He's he just funny, though, dude. He just is. Hi, Bridget. Since the summer of 2021, one man has taken over the community- Okay, this tweet had me fucking dying. Dude, last night I woke up covered in cum because I had a dream that Marky was on top of me, stroking and sucking my penis, but he was a girl and he had huge ass tits and I was grabbing and squeezing his ass the whole time. And it felt good, I wish it was real. <laughs> 
the emotion all to two two whether he is spamming come on Bruce and saying he hates rancid shit in chats or blasting music in his streams he has become the most universally loved member of the community there is one question though who actually is emo channel 222 this question has been asked for months and very little progress has been made as part of the iceberg research are you human Hell nah gang. Search. I reached Do out to- Do you own any other Twitch accounts besides Emotional222? Mr. Channel to ask a Hell few nah questions. Gang. <laughs> when I asked for a picture- Do you I, have any pictures of yourself to share with the community? I did not think he would send me one, but he did. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Emotional222. <laughs> like bro, there's no fucking way. I actually wouldn't put it past him to look like this. At least he's dedicated, dude. He looks like Bauer with long hair. What if it is, dude? Vanil, thank you for the 11 month resub, dude. Appreciate it. I want to shoot. Damn, product. Be honest, were you guys around for this? Because this. At the time was like the biggest fucking thing that has ever happened, dude. Were you guys around the community for this? This is before it was like duck community. But my god, this is like this was like the hottest topic when this happened. It was fucking insane. The ambush NBA 2K20 locker code situation took place when he was supposed to give away a code on his stream for his viewers. Ambush decided to hold out and keep people waiting for two hours before finally giving out the code, taking advantage of the increased viewership. During this, look at Bruce. Chenzo said you smell. This is, this is literally <laughs> what he was fucking spamming, and this was enough for Chenzo to just get fucking <laughs> to just catch strays stream. His chat became extremely toxic and at one point he took the chance to lash out on the community. And I don't give a fuck about Chenny either. That nigga fake as fuck. Facts. Don't talk to me about Chenny. I can embarrass everybody. So every he doesn't even play my team. So why is he talking about me? I don't care. Just stop mentioning the nigga, bro. Do you know what's crazy? There's a name I used to watch Ambish like fucking crazy. Back before I used to watch many people. One of the names in his name list I came up with. I can't remember which one it was, but one of them I I came up with, dude. Waiting for two hours before finally giving out the code, taking advantage of the increased viewership. During this stream, his chat became extremely toxic and at one point he took the chance to lash out on the community. And I don't give a fuck about Chenny either. That nigga fake as fuck. Don't talk to me about Chenny. <laughs> I can embarrass everybody. So every he doesn't even play my team. So why is he talking about me? I don't care. Just stop mentioning the nigga, bro. I don't care about that nigga, dog. Never have, never will. Period. Oh. Bro, this could have been so much juicier. Like, Dylan, how can you go in on stuff and then not include this? It's already out there. You're not, like, exposing anything. This literally happened on stream. You could have made this fucking... Literally insane. Because this stream, if you guys were there, it was like... Late as fuck, I know because it was late afternoon for me, which means it was like early, early morning for you guys, or like 4am or some shit. They were literally both fucking streaming, and it was fucking wild. I didn't know about this till yesterday because it happened so like late. That topic could be a video in itself, bro. It was bad. It was toxic as fuck. The sweater and Kmo relationship has been very bumpy over the last few years. They are seemingly friends at one moment, and then wishing death upon each other an hour later. <laughs> the beef was so intense that a PowerPoint was needed in order for Kmo to express what had been going on. She felt that Sweater was harassing her by calling and emailing her nonstop, which led to a major blow with both parties in shambles afterward. Okay, I felt bad about this you part. Know. Like, why did you only include Katie crying? Because Sweater was very emotional too. You know everything. Like, the chat told him to. Shout, shout out uh, K-Ball, dude. She fire. 
Why is she like, literally in chat, why is he crying? Because of all the shit he's put me through. All the constantly accusing me of talking to people I'm not talking to. All the getting mad and shit. All the shit that I never did. This is sad, dude. It's but fucked up. But I guess up. I'm the bad guy, so... Twitch, it's been a real one. Like, he could have put a, a video of Sweater crying or some shit afterwards. Somehow, this is now resolved and they are okay with each other. W. I don't know why Kero was talked about. Kero's insane. Dude, In July he's fucking... 2021, a you know kid from crazy? Cutter. This dude, Kero, was so... F like, he was actually fucking... He's, he's funny as fuck. Like, he was toxic as fuck, but he's hilarious. And dude, he would come in my chat and just be normal. Like, it was so weird. And then, so I haven't heard heard of this dude in I don't know how fucking long. He just stopped streaming and I get a random Discord call at like midnight one, one day. He calls me, I answer. I was like, hello? He's like, oh, Charles, um, can you get me unbanned on FIFA? I was like, what? Like, what? why would you think I could just do that, man? And he goes, oh, because... I don't live in America. I was like, dude, I'm from Australia. I don't live in America either. And and he was like, oh, okay. And that was it. And he just left. And I've never heard of him since. Who goes by the name Caro began streaming. He had pretty much no filter and was especially willing to speak his mind about the LGBTQ community. He enjoyed talking to women on stream, but would often end up making them leave due to him talking down upon ABR them. Groomed Nonetheless, him. his streams what? were extremely entertaining and if he was able to tone down the hate towards the gay community and women, he certainly Wait, could really, have been James? a good streamer. Ultimately, he was not able to do that and after a temporary ban, he eventually disappeared from the platform. Razo get gay stream. While he has not consistently streamed in over a year, Razo has always been one of the most entertaining and funny streamers in the community. Arguably his most popular on stream content was his Bumble and Tinder streams. Though many times he would be in pursuit of women, Razo was not shy to explore his sexuality. He would often have much more success with men as opposed to women, which also made for the gay section <laughs> being better content. One day, perhaps Razo will return to streaming full time and continue looking for the man of his dreams. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Fernando, 20. Shift leader at Cinnabon. Shift leader at Cinnabon. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna get railed at Cinnabon. Oh my god. This is actually gay. If there is one name that can be said and immediately cause tension within the community, it is Bruce. While he is doing his own thing, there are grown men some almost 10 years older than he is beefing over him or allowing him to create beef between <laughs> Listen to Dylan dick sucking with with what the fucking voice is saying right now. Them on one occasion, Mr. Kendones called out Chenzo and proceeded to start going off on him. Chenzo, who was shaking uncontrollably as he heard his favorite streamer belittle him, eventually joined Discord, which led to a heated debate. Yeah, me and Sweat have been wanting to buy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was instigating like fucking crazy in this stream. Bruce comes here once every three months and ruins everything. No, that this was back when Bruce would be around all the time. He don't come around anymore because you guys still talk about him all the time. Look at this dude saying he don't care. Let's buy it right now. Weird. Damn. But you know why he's saying that, though, Chenzo? Because he was going to pay for your ticket when he couldn't, nigga. Oh, shit. I got Marky trying... back. Eat Marky dick, nigga. Get off his dick. Oh, Fuck shit. you, nigga. <laughs> He was going to come Bro, out of his pockets when he ain't had nothing in his pocket. So stop gaslighting him. Oh, shit. Dude, realistically, Chenzo, this really wasn't anything to, like, argue about. Like, Marky's not even saying anything. Nigga? <laughs> yeah! What, nigga, what? <laughs> Bro... What the fuck up? Like, Gas like lighter. Right now, dog. Gas lighter. Dude, dude. Gas lighter. Ass sweater. I was gonna buy with that sweater, bro. Hey, Marky no, could talk no, for no, his no, fucking self, bro. Marky could talk for his fucking self, bitch. Shut the fuck up, pussy. Shut the fuck up, bro. I was gonna buy my boom ticket boom before everyone. Boom he and sweater like this. Ads, ads. Sorry, dude. 
Wait. How old is Razo, by the way? Because I seen someone say yesterday he's he's not even 21 yet. Is that true? There's... N you're... Razo, you're 20? Lilla... Lilla kid. Dude, you look way too old to be 20, gang. You, you, you damn near 30. Okay, I'm not 25. I'm 24. This shit hurts. Wait, what does, Prince? Razo looked like he got a wife and kid. Damn, random ass dick suck. Dude, okay, chat, look. I turned 25 in six days now. Six days, dude. And I'm 25 years old. What are you guys getting me for my birthday, by the way? I hope you have presents ready. Who cares? Lost one nil. We had a... Di Damn. That's crazy. Dick? I'm gonna hold you to that. A sub. Thank you, Marco. Buy it right now. 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 Give me the fucking link, dumbass. Give me the link. All this was literally just over the like Texas trip and buying flights to Texas. That's literally it. That's literally it, dude. That's what this, this argument was about. I think 99%, maybe not 99, a good like 80% of the arguments or like beefs in this community could be resolved if the people involved in them literally just step back and like thought about what they're actually mad about. By the way, I got PlayStation Plus Premium, so if you want to download games from there, you can. Dude, Albie, thank you, dude. Over your... Okay, Mills. Mm, it's a lot deeper than that. It's a lot deeper than that. Like, you don't understand. They're all for content. You actually believe that people just beef for content? Most beefs are over egos. Thank you, Albie. Kurt saying we need a new Ali Arch pick. What? Yeah, especially you guys. Don't say you guys, Evan. Because I'm not involved in any of these beefs. I'm gonna buy it for a week. I've been having to wait for Marky. Oh, he was gonna buy it for you. I was gonna buy it for my damn self. He already told me because of his funds being low, he can't even pay for my ticket. So what the fuck are you talking about? You sound so stupid Marky, as fuck. You like nah, that? nah, bro, dude. No, I'm talking to you. Don't deflect this away. I'm talking to you, bitch. Don't deflect this shit. Hey, nah, nah, no, no, shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up, bro. Hey, 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 about big don't come here on that yelling shit you 30 years old <laughs> oh my like, god your own ticket nigga Bruce Dick writing jokes, which angered Chenzo Charles and Flax specifically, nearly led what? to the end of the big three. After a night of drinking, Random Chenzo stray. and Marky got into a legendary 20 for a beef over Marky making a Bruce joke. On the car ride home, Chenzo would lash out at Marky. You saying, bro? I stream. This might be the worst beef. I'm not even joking. This might be the worst beef, dude. This actually made me mad. Like, I hated this beef. It was so fucking dumb. Without Bruce coming out on my stream. No, I stream without Bruce on my stream. Texas. I stream without Bruce on my stream. Two times, bro. I stream without Bruce on my stream. Two times, bro. I ain't no one's bitch, bro. I, 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 I bitch. Hey bitch, I, hey bitch, I went to Texas. I went to Texas, bro. Shut the fuck up. 
I went to Texas because everyone else was going, bro. I went to Texas because I want to go to Texas. Please bring me up. I want people to bring me up, Marky. I want people to talk about me, bro. Please talk about me. Okay, now this was some beef. Though this beef did not last very long, Hello, it is ass. still very memorable and has been regarded as one of the most entertaining beefs to happen in this community. It all took place on a Kobe 0802 stream while he was playing Madden. Out of nowhere, Hologram Girl and Baby Girl began going at one another which led to them being pulled up in Discord. As hell broke loose in the call, Kobe 0802 was unfazed and stayed locked in on his game. Starting shit. I'm mad. You're the one spamming bits donation. Call me bits. Talking about I'm skinny. Didn't you, you must be fat. You must be a fat, dusty, ugly ass <laughs> bitch. The way you're talking about me because you sound like a jealous, hating ass bitch. Oh okay? yeah. Okay, that's bitch, fucking true. Bitch, who is jealous of you're you? Like, Them oh, ugly you're ass thirty or something the moaning at court. If you people shut the hell up. You always the way moaning. Talk, you always moaning. That moan, has nothing to do with me. Oh, you sound so shut the fuck up. You mad. Just Man, because you have the shittiest I'm fucking trolly wollies and chat and nobody spam. fucking entertains it, laugh. you literally sat laugh. here spamming Lakers fan and laugh. he wasn't even in the chat anymore. That's fucking pathetic. Guess what? That's not a troll. That's just sad. That's just fucking sad. You always get dusty. You always you know what? It was funny as fuck. So you get to the most shit. Shut the fuck up with your nasty ass. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Why are you so mad at me? I wanna be black. Bitch, I'm more black than you are. What? Okay, who won, dude? Hollow. I'm not gonna lie. Hollow sweat. She smoked the fuck out of her. Baby girl, don't be around anymore. Good, dude. She was fucking annoying. She has me. She had me blocked on everything for nothing. I didn't even do anything to her. The split between Chenzo and Bebe was not pretty, and her true feelings about Mr. Like, why? Why was this on the iceberg? They. He said split, and they weren't a even ever together. 23 came out when she went on a chisole stream and began throwing shots at him. Mendo, what? So, my experience has not been that great with short guys. And I'm mm. kind of tired of giving people... In addition, she would go on Twitter and say that he broke her heart, which did not sit well with the community. The biggest <laughs> controversy... Yo, Cyrus, put the emote in. <laughs> Bro, Chenzo, this this fucking photo. See that surrounded their relationship dealt with what really happened at Nobu. Initially, it was estimated that Chenzo spent over five hundred dollars on Maybe at Nobu only for her to end up calling him cheap and a broke boy. However, months later, she would respond to a flax tweet about their Nobu trip saying that she was actually the one who paid the bill. These allegations have not been denied by the kid. <laughs> Recently, there have been rumors regarding Camilo and his type in terms of women. His type, according to my sources, may actually be high. What? Hold on. What is this footage? There have been rumors regarding Camilo. Did I look good as fuck? This when is after the door slam. By the way, in terms of just women, in case someone wasn't type, already putting it in the fucking sources, chat. says, may actually be high school girls and college freshmen. There have been reports of Camilo being spotted picking up his slam. secret girlfriend from high school at the end of the day as well as him taking days off streaming in order to help her study for her final exams. If this is true, Camilo could find himself in real trouble. Dude, that's creepy as fuck. Why was he staring at them like that? Following the first ever All I Cham bunny God. suit appearance during the Flaxy Awards show, rumors began to circulate regarding a certain member of the community having a folder on his computer full of pictures of her as well as extra Brian hologram girl. 
The suspected owner of this folder, none other than Mr. Marky next door, <laughs> has denied having the estimated 5.5 gigabyte folder. His mother, however, has come out and claimed that she spotted the folder on his computer when cleaning Dude. up. If this is true, it is What's a very that serious fucking allegation. Photo? Chenzo and Sweater. I thought this was gonna be about the beef, but it was about them being gay for each other. Whenever Sweater and Chenzo are streaming together, you know it is going to be good content. They clearly mesh well together and have good chemistry on stream, but the way in which they act while the stream is on has prompted some to speculate that Dude, this they was in Vegas, right? Friends, as you can oh, see yeah. from the you can see my little off wheezies here. Thing. The two of them are not Dude, afraid. Dude, we were so fucking gay in Vegas, bro. You didn't even see half the shit we did off stream. We were so fucking gay in Vegas. To embrace one another and their actions are indicative of a potential romantic relationship. While it is wrong to make assumptions on their sexual orientation, their behavior can certainly justify the rumors of them being Nah, that's lovers. gay. Flax movie set. One of the newer conspiracies that will be presented on the- No way Flax was one of these dudes in school, bro. Oh my god. There was always that one freak-ass kid that would fucking do this with his eyelids. I used to fucking hate it. Kami, what? Bro, you guys are putting Kamombra, but you didn't- you didn't used to have that one kid in the school that would fucking invert his eyelids like this and chase people around? I thought it was an edit- no, people used to do this in school! Okay, Kurt, what? Okay, Dan. This iceberg, the Flax movie set conspiracy centers around his refusal to do IRL streams in the Bahamas. It is extremely rare that he does one. Nah, one, one of the funniest comments I've ever seen on this entire fucking platform, bro, is when Flax was doing the workout stream on Chenzo's stream and this door, <laughs> this door was in the background and the <laughs> And they used to just say shit like this was the <laughs> this was the portal to the upside down in Stranger Things, bro. Uh, the comments that the chat came up with when he showed his fucking busted ass door was fucking funny. <laughs> Monsters Inc. door, bro. Streams in the Bahamas. It is extremely rare that he does one, and whenever an idea for IRL content is suggested, he ends up immediately denying it. For this reason, a theory has been developed <laughs> that Flax is not actually from the Bahamas and his house is it's actually a movie set or green screen. While this may seem a little bit out there, it would make sense for him to do this, and it would also explain why he never wants to collaborate with other streamers from his home country. Alright, we're getting to the bottom, the juicy part! No, it's not Dylan's real voice, EJ. If you have been watching Chenzo for a long time, you have probably heard him mention that he used to work as a teacher's assistant. Something that Vincent doesn't normally discuss, however, is what job he was working when he first began streaming. Chenzo323 was the head janitor at a local school. This is nothing to be ashamed of, but Duckit normally doesn't mention this fun fact. See, that, that isn't like a, a bottom of the iceberg shit. Kobe 0802 refuses to discuss the situation, this, this but the is iceberg has the required bottom. a deep investigation into this particular matter. The Taco Bell girl saga took place when Jack Wares talked to a girl on Tinder who ended up being a catfish. After devouring some tacos at Taco Bell, Kobe proceeded to still fuck the girl even though she was a catfish and particularly to this large. Day, a top source for this- To this day, there's only one person that has seen Taco Bell go and it's Chenzo. No one else? Bro, back when this happened, he would rather die than show people this photo. So I don't know what the fuck this girl looked like, but my fucking god, like he would he was he was willing to take this shit to the fucking grave. And dude, if I ever go get my hands on this photo, my god, I'm going to dick suck the fuck out of Kobe because he just does not stop sucking my dick. 
This investigation was able to locate an image of the two eating together, confirming the reports. Waffle game. Nick the Bulls fan suddenly came back to Twitch. His return, however, was extremely unusual. So First, here. he announced he would be attempting to break the world record for longest stream. In addition, he would be making a waffle for every single sub that he got and going by the name Waffle King. At first, this seemed like a joke but he was dead serious. He made hundreds of waffles during the course of his stream and even began beefing with Shake and Bake. And the thing is, right, it may seem like I'm cutting off Shake, but y'all gotta realize, one, this is the most enter entertaining stream on Twitch. Lost and Bob was not scamming people, bro. Uh, Lost is live right now. Lost is really funny. I don't know if we can say that. Alright, get the fuck off my stream. <laughs> I'm not gonna have anyone on my fucking stream that doesn't think it's the most entertaining stream on Twitch. It was clear that he was not all there and was going through something. Interestingly enough, once the stream was over and he returned to his life outside of Twitch, he would begin a relationship with someone very well known within the community, BB Peach. <laughs> The day was January 6, 2021. That morning, Marky Nexter tweeted how much he was looking forward to this day and how amazing it would be. While his followers didn't think anything of it at the time, they would soon see what he was referring to. That day, the Capitol building rights took place. As soon as everything began, the tweet made by Mr. Morales resurfaced and caught a lot of attention within the community. Though Marky may have denied these allegations, it seems pretty cut and dry that Marky next door had inside information on what would take place that fateful day. Arguably the darkest on this iceberg, the Leo McRib theory is regarding Kobe <laughs> 0802's Cal Leo in a rumor that began shortly after Kobe got him. The story goes that one night, Kobe was very hungry and instead of using money to get a McRib, he instead offered to trade his cat for a McRib. To ensure that no viewers would realize what he did, Kobe went out and found an identical cat to bring home and take Leo's place. The idea that someone could be so evil and twisted that they can give up their own pet for a McRib is sickening. Okay, dude, I said this on Chenzo's stream yesterday. This, that isn't what happened. Kobe ended his stream and was like, okay, I'm coming back to stream in a few hours. I'm going to go get a cat. He came, he refires up the stream and comes back with a McRib and no fucking cat, dude. It was fucking hilarious, bro. And he, and he said that he traded that shit in for a fucking McRib. The first Ella trip was an amazing opportunity for streamers in the community to meet in person and live with each other for a few days, but some of them had darker intentions. Like, we've never seen Flax laugh like this since, since, bef like, that fucking photo leaked, because he can't, bro. <laughs> At some point during the trip, there was a heist. Someone or a team of people stole a champ's clothes. Initially, the suspects included Marky Next Door, Kurt Riches, Blacks, and Kobe 0802. But recently, we finally got the answer to this year long mystery. Person informed me that Marky and Kurt stole Ali's clothes in LA. Care to explain? No, it was Kurt and Flex. Bro, I still have them in my fucking. No. Wait, wasn't this like a few days ago? The Landon theory centers around the leaked video of Landon saying the hard R, which got him exiled from the community, a theory that has been picking up steam recently. Many speculated that Marky next door was the one who leaked the clip so that he could take Landon's spot as Chenzo's best friend. There have even been some that suggested that Marky actually said it himself with a voice changer and said that it was Landon. That was me, I started that. And it's true. The community took an impromptu trip to Los Angeles at the beginning of December for the Larry Hoover concert, which would feature Drake and Kanye collabing. Not only was this expected to be a great trip because of the performance, but also because the one and only Los Paulos Television would be making an appearance. At the concert, Los Paulos Television was sitting with his friend Raf as well as Ovio and Marky. As a result of Drake's underwhelming performance, Los Paulos Television and his boys decided to leave early but Marky did 
did not join them. Los would later regret this, as Drake would come back and perform forever much to the delight of Marky next door. At the end of the show, yeah. Marky realized he had no way to get home and also had a dead phone. With no way back to the Airbnb, Marky realized that he was fucked. Morky had to walk a couple of miles back <laughs> to the house, which we all know is not something he would be happy about. <laughs> what? Pizzagate is one of the oh. biggest unsolved mysteries of the community. It all dates back to the December 2021 Larry Hoover Law Trap, as discussed previously, where Los Palos Television would be coming along with all of the usual community members. One night, Los Palos ordered a bunch of pizzas to his Airbnb. They were expected to be consumed by everyone there, but apparently Marky had other ideas. As he has recently admitted, Marky ate nine whole boxes of pizza. Is they think that this this, this dude's a fuck with us because I ate nine boxes of pizza, I ate. Yeah, nine. Not only did this anger everyone else who was hungry, but also Mr. Television who was paying for it all. Ever since Morky devoured the pizza, things have never been the same. And I'm gonna be Dude, that video, Dylan, shout out to you, man. That, that's some creative shit. Again, this, this why I be saying, who else is doing something like this, man?